Okay, quick little walk around video, and we'll start up the 914. So we got a Porsche 1975 two liter. Um, this is in Berber yellow, which is kind of a um, in the garage here. So I'm not sure if it shows it, but it was a uh, Berber, I believe, was a, only offered in '75. I call it highlighter yellow because it's yellow, but it's got a tint of green to it. So very similar to like a highlighter yellow pen. Um, so the work we've done, we've had the the car was stripped down to metal. We fixed like three little roll, uh, rust spots that were cut and replaced on the lower rocker. The hell hole, that part was fine. We also had a little spot right up in here that was cut out and replaced. I'll show pictures of that from when it was being done. Um, so that's been all stripped, repainted. The engine's been rebuilt. It did get upgraded to a uh, car drive by here upgraded to a 2.2 liter uh, engine kit just for a little more torque not much, you know, a little horsepower but it's really more for the torque uh, this makes it a great little driver the the brake system was all gone through uh, with new hoses calipers rotors pads um, all sourced by uh, I think it's PMB Motorsports out of Utah they make uh, some stuff for these 914 so they're kind of got the reputation for the best uh, brake system, so that's the one we went with. Um, the interior was in pretty darn good shape when we started. The seats were, we really didn't have to do anything to the seats, but we did put a new carpet kit in it, and we actually lined it underneath with some sound deading material. Um, we did put a new, this cap part right here, if you will. That part uh, had a crack on it, so we put a new one of those in put new visors in it. All that stuff is sourced by 914 Rubber, which happens to be here in Oregon. It's been a great resource. If you're looking for 914 parts, they, you'd be amazed at all the little stuff that they have. Um, little seals and clips, and they do a lot of kits for replacement. The visors I got from them, they've just been a great resource. Anyhow, um, so we did ex replace the muffler. It's got headers on it. Uh, they were already on it when we rebuilt it, put a new like OEM muffler on it. Um, it had an aftermarket, but it had a little hole in it, so we just put a new one on it. I got all new inky wheels with uh, new tires, and those tires are done laps that we put on it. And went with just, uh, we haven't touched the suspension besides replacing some bushings and stuff and shocks, but we kept it, when I say touched it, we, we kept it to stock specs. Um, I think it's the right fit. The, we did put a little larger tire um, when we bought that. I'm gonna see, these are, what are those? Those are 195, 65, 15s that we put on this. Paint turned out just beautiful. We'll give it a fire up here. Oh, it does have a Pioneer stereo from back in the day. It's showing 30,000. 815 on the on the odometer can't tell you any history of that um, everything's working except for the clock isn't holding time that little i assume that lights up when you hit the rid of frost that doesn't light up and this light i've never addressed this or that but that light doesn't work um could be a bulb could be a, i don't know what it is just be a wire i just never use it so it doesn't matter um horn works I guess not without the key on. I'm gonna fire it. That was not a cold start. I've been driving it around a little bit today, but that even when it's cold, it fires right up just like that. You can hear it just purrs like a like a little sewing machine. Vinyl's in good shape. Pop the hood here. We kept the fuel injection system. We did come in and uh, found a, there's a little piece down in here that has like a little pinchiometer on it. That's for the air fuel mixture. And uh, 914 rubber had a replacement part for that because they can get worn. So we went ahead and replaced that. Not sure if it needed it, but figured it's a wear item. So we just go ahead and refresh it. If you'll see, it's missing what I call warts. These were turn signals originally there. We had those taken off. 
Let me turn it off so you can hear me better. So those little turn signals we uh, had taken out and filled in with metal. And then I just think they look like warts, so I don't like them. We've got the Pioneer stereo that was probably replaced back in the 70s. But we did put, I had the original pods, but these were sourced by 914 rubber. So um, as a kit with the Kenwood, so we bought a new set of those. And uh, I think that's where I got them. A little continuation of the walk around. So here's the frunk. You'll see that that's nice and sorted out. Room for a little luggage there. We did have uh, middle motors out of Moala, Oregon that specializes in these uh, 914s and air-cooled motors. They, uh, they've come through and helped me. They replaced the dash for me, helped me resort the motor. Once we got it rebuilt, I had them come in and do the throttle positioning you know, sensor I was talking about earlier. It, they put the new steering shaft in it, some new joints. Just, just really just sorted it out for me really nice. Um, and I had them replace that hose to the windshield wiper fluid because it was leaking. So we had that. It was dripping under the dash a little bit. So we had to put a new one of those in. The back trunk's in good shape. You can see everything is, again, still nice and tidy. Um, the, clip, the clip is broken here that holds the, the top for the, the uh, target top. So I did get a new set of those. I may put them in before delivery. If not, they'll be in the trunk. And it looks like you got to drill out pop rivets and then they have nuts and bolts in there. So it's not a big job, but so we'll try to get to it if work allows. Locks were rebuilt. There's lock kits, extra lock kits that'll come, rebuild kits in it, but we rebuilt both of those. And there's a few little extra seals. Um, I do have new cups and stuff that'll be included from extra parts. Didn't change it because these really didn't need it but I do have a set of those that'll be thrown in. The smog pump on the motor was removed when it was rebuilt, and so that's included with it as well. Uh, so if you do live in California, it gives you the opportunity to put the smog pump back in and to pass whatever your guys' inspections are down there. I try to live right on to deal with that type of headache for old classic cars. The car is really well sorted, drives nice, brakes good, runs well. Good luck with your bidding. I'll go ahead and show the horn working. Let's see, it might be connected to the key. That seems strange, but <coughs> works fine there. If I turn this key off, it doesn't work. Interesting. Uh, one more continuation. I decided to uh, show you some lights. So, headlights, they come up nice. They've been upgraded to a, an LED that still looks original, but puts out a little better light. Still keeping that original theme. Um, so that's fresh. You turn signals. See that one working. Like I said, we took the ones out of here that are, I call them a wart. I don't care for them. This gives it a much cleaner look. And then we'll go to the other side. See that one working. And same thing up here. I can't do the brakes because I'm here by myself, but brake lights work fine too. So everything's working. 